I am feeling pretty good today, guys. All things considered, I just lost my GoPro. <laughs> All right, the crying's over. Time to move on. We're gonna do this. So what's old is new again, right? Isn't that the saying? What's old is new again? Here I am, once again, using the metal windshield mounted. And that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I, I lost that GoPro Hero 8 Black. That sticky adhesive that I relied on. You know, that's all on me. And if you notice throughout that video, I kept checking it and kept checking it. And I'm, I'm, actually, I, I was putting pressure on the mount. I actually made it worse. So you live and you learn. Stick with the metals. I should know better. I work for a manufacturing company that makes structural and decorative pieces out of all metals, aluminum, brass, steel. So I'll, I should have known better. I should have stuck with the metal. Yeah. You live and you learn. The worst part about it is I received that GoPro Hero 8 Black as a gift from my daughters on Father's Day, so they haven't seen the video yet where I lost the GoPro and they're gonna see it and they're gonna be like, Daddy, Daddy. And I guess I'm gonna be like, sorry, sorry. Hey, these things happen. I guess you can chuck it up to the game. I wouldn't be the first guy who lost a, a camera or a GoPro on the highway. And it was a two-lane highway too. I mean, it was a two-lane parkway and no way in the world. And it fell off on the side like right there. No way in the world was I gonna hit the brakes and go back and get that. Whoever gets it, hey, pull that card out. Make it some good stuff. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. Keep me winking it. Yeah, that's me. Life goes on. And I must say, this mountain here is rock solid on the highway. There's no jumping around. No nothing. I mean, the worst case scenario is is the part here may get loose and the camera may fall that way. But it ain't coming off that uh, mount there. It's not coming off. Oh, what's going on? Huh? Yeah, guys, so here we are. We're told this new again. And please leave a comment below. What do you think about the quality of the video of this camera? Now, the GoPro quality, is outstanding but I did enjoy some success with this camera in this capacity especially when I have sunlight here and that's the other thing oh boy today started out at about 52 degrees and right now it's currently 60 degrees and that's why you have to love commuting I mean you always have something to look for when you're on a motorcycle you take the good with the bad and you know what the bad ain't that bad. Especially when you got sport mode. Hey, that was a shameless plug for sport mode. <laughs> totally uh, totally unnecessary, but you know, the overpasses, you gotta give it a little bit of juice. Just give it a little. I gotta be careful because if you notice, I'm not running ways. My iPhone, iPhone uh, X. It's acting up. She's turning off. She's turning on. She's turning off. She's turning on. I don't know. I don't want to invest in the new thing. I keep my phones for a while. That one I've had for about three years. So we're rambling now. I just got off work. I feel good. Ooh. Man, I love sport mode. Sport mode's good stuff, guys. And I've always said, I never understood why someone would want to change the exhaust on the 6th generation Goldwing. 
But you know what? Life's about choices and to each his own. I love this bike. Such a sporty piece too, huh? To be so good looking. I gotta say, once again, when Honda put these different modes on this motorcycle, it wasn't just a, a stamp. I mean, it, you really do feel the difference in all of the modes. They give you what you want when you want it. We're going to take the long way home today. Because that's what we do when we're on motorcycles. We take the long way home. Yeah. Long way round, huh? <laughs> Or should I say wrong way around? I was good, I guess. That means I get to go to the front of the line. Here we go with these crappy roads. Oh, there's a sneaker. You believe that? Who the hell leaves a sneaker on the road? Yeah, guys, so this morning I ran my heat this morning. I had my heated uh, jacket on. And uh, today, well, on the commute home, it's not necessary. That's why you gotta love the fall. Love the fall. Because the winter is coming. And the winter takes no prisoners. That's right. There was no way I was gonna do it out of a rearward facing camera. Guys, you know, you know how much I like to look into the camera and talk to you guys. Yeah. I just wonder about the GoPro quality. How nice would that be to get a jump off right here? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to put my kickstand down in this business. It looks pretty soft. And considering all of the rain, I'd be crazy to do something like that. But then again, I'd be crazy not to. This stuff is getting thick. Are you, know, you guys into that slow speed handling business? Yeah, we do that over here. So bring your parking lot skills over here. Yeah, bring them in all of this. And we'll talk about it. I think it's high time we jump to the front of the line. I am feeling pretty good today, guys. All things considered, I just lost my GoPro. <laughs> All right, the crying's over. Time to move on. We're going to do this, and we're going to get off here. How sweet does that sound, huh? <laughs> oh, I love the bike. Alright guys, so we're nearly at our destination. I'd like to thank you guys for coming along for the ride. I certainly hope you appreciated uh, me sharing you the story of my major fail. I will say it was my major fail. I failed to secure the mount. I failed to heed what one of the subscribers or commenters had mentioned that they lost a mount as well. You know what? I think I'm going to relieve some stress and get a little workout in 
and uh, get back at you guys later. Uh, I'm not out because I didn't get you guys a jump off, a look. So here's your look. There it is, folks, in all her glory. Yeah. And now I'm out.